Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be discussing the module 5 of Python super important questions and in this module we have the repeated questions and if you watch this video till the end easily can score more than 80% marks don't miss any of these questions and before starting please do like and subscribe it helps me make more videos like this so without wasting more time let's get started the first super important question is Python classes often uh, use utilize special methods like uh, init and str okay these two methods are used for initializing the values okay when an object is created you have to explain both of the methods with example okay so so what is init what is str okay init method constructor it is a constructor uh, class whenever an object is created init init will initialize the values inside that function okay so example class class name is present here and inside we have defined init and self parameters now self dot attribute is equal to value whatever the attribute we have defined it for the class name that attribute whatever value we pass that will be uh, specified okay like an example if you see it will be more clear class person is defined and in it self and name and age is defined okay name and age are the parameters which are getting passed and the name and age are the attributes of the person okay so self dot name will become name and self dot age will become age so whenever we create an object of person like person p1 so for example if we create a person p1 okay person p1 okay an example is here only so and another function we have defined here display self so uh, whenever we call the function display name will be printed and age will be printed whatever we had passed here okay so for example if we create a person 1 as person alice 30 so alice is the name and that will be stored in the self dot name and 30 will be stored in self dot age name and age are variables of the type inside the uh, class person so that uh, in person 1 the name will be alice and person 1's age will be 30 so when we do display what will happen name and self dot name will be alice and h cell dot it will be 30 so name alice is 30 will be printed okay name alice page 30 this is the output again okay. so uh, in it is used to initialize the name and age attributes when a person object is created that is the uh, task of in it for uh, str we'll be uh, using for string representation what do you mean by string representation whenever we call a print or str method the uh, object will be converted to a string value okay for example this is the syntax here okay str and whatever we want to represent as a string will be specifying here okay for example a class person uh, init is defined here okay init is also done name and age will be uh, initialized after that str is defined here str is defined as person name self name and age this will be printed okay if you perform this operation here person is equal to person uh, person was equal to person bob 25 person one's name will be bob person one's uh, age will be 25 and that uh, information will be converted to a string name uh, bob age 25 like that it will be printed if we print person one itself okay on printing person one the string value of this object will be printed which is name uh, bob age 25 okay that is what str does it is defined to return a string representation of object it is defined to uh, return a string representation of the object okay like this this is the string representation of the object okay that is what the str is defined for moving on to the second super important question we have what is a class how to define a class in python how to initiate a class and how the class members are accessed okay basically what is a class class definition you need to write it is a blueprint or the template for creating objects that's all okay it is a blueprint or the template for creating objects it can have the data which is the attributes and the methods which are the functions okay so <coughs> let's have a look at the um, syntax so class will be defined as like this class class name and init function will be defined here and another method whatever we want that will be defined here okay so by initializing a class you can create an object okay so class car is defined here and def self dot make is make self model is model okay make and model is passed here so self make and self model will become make and model and display will is it is defined as cars make is equal to self dot make and model is uh, self dot model so if you pass car Toyota Corolla for car one. Car one's make will be Toyota. Car one's model is Corolla. Okay, so if you print car one dot make, Toyota will be printed. If you print car one dot Corolla, Corolla will be uh, car one dot model. Corolla will be printed. Okay, if you write car one dot display information, this whole thing will be printed. Car make uh, Toyota model Corolla. Okay, so next is explanation of accessing class members. Okay. Accessing class members means whatever the members are here, which are the members make and model are the members of this class. Okay, so to access those members, we can access it using the dot operator car one dot make. Okay, method also we can access in the same way car one dot display information. Okay. Moving on, we have the third supplement question. Explain about pure functions and modifier functions. Okay, two types of functions are there: pure and modifier function. Pure function will not alter any values which are existing in the code. Okay, listen to me again very carefully. Pure function will not uh, change the values already existing in the code. The value should be existing. Whatever the existing values are there, if those existing values value remain the same after the execution of pure function, 
if it remains same that means it is a pure function okay if it changes means it is a modifier function example if you take an example you understand see def uh, add a comma b return a comma b here a and b is not existing previously we are creating and changing it and then printing it now whatever was existing that is still same only i don't care what is existing we didn't change anything that was existing we created a new thing and did a new operation and return that okay this is a pure function modifier function is that which will change some values which is already present in the function for example total zero this is already present pay attention this is already present what this is what already present if this is already present and i am using this value here to make it a change total is getting changed by this uh, operation here it is modifying the global variable then it is called as a modifier function okay this is accessing the previous value which is there in the code and it is changing that is a modifier function okay and uh, the next super important question is briefly explain the concept of prototyping and planning okay two things are there prototyping and planning okay so basic difference in uh, Python is that prototyping means quickly creating a basic version of a system and an application for the thing which is to be required. Okay, a basic version. For example, if I want a calculator, I can define def, uh, def calculator a b operation. If operation is add, return a plus b. If operation is subtract, return a minus b. Else, return uh, operation is not supported. That's all. This is a basic prototype. I don't have UI, GUI, and the function classes, objects, nothing. I have just a normal if else condition and a function. That's it. This is called as prototype next one is planning okay see the function is simple prototype for performing a basic operation can be iterated upon later based on user feedback okay next is planning planning means outlining the system design structure modules and how the final code will look before jumping into coding you have to plan the features like libraries algorithms all the things which is be going going to be used the gui how it will be going to look like all those things that def defining the problem everything will be detailed and structured and organized okay we'll plan everything that is called as planning Okay, we'll use the libraries also for data analysis. It is a bit more detailed. Prototype is a, just a basic working model and planning means the actual full-fledged app. Okay, so see, you might start by planning a basic calculator for add function different and subtract will be a different function, multiply will be a different function, divide will be a different function. There can be error handling if division is by zero and user interface will be there, command line or GUI, everything. Okay, that is our planning. We go to the next one question we have construct the class called rectangle what you have to construct a class called as rectangle initialize its height as 100 and the width as 200 and starting point as 0 comma 0 okay and write the method to display the center point coordinates of a triangle center point will be here 50 and this will be 100 right the uh, 100 is, is the middle point 50 is the middle point for here so 150 will be the uh, middle point for this and the function has to return that middle point let's have a look how that function can do first we'll define a class rectangle define in it self height is equal to 100 width is equal to 100 x and 0 uh, x and y is 0 so we'll uh, initialize all those values in the same function and we'll define a function to display the centroid centroid will be x plus y divided by 2 and this will be y plus height divided by 2 okay x and y are the starting points so starting points plus what is the height and width divided by 2 if you do you'll be getting the midpoint okay and that will be printed here next we'll be creating a rectangle and we'll be calling a function display center and the center point will be printed here okay we are not passing any parameters because by default it is taken as 100 and 200 here itself okay if you pass any parameter that will be replaced okay we go to the next point question. We have explained the concept of polymorphism with an example. What does polymorphism mean? One thing, many forms. Okay, means one thing can be used for different operations. Okay, for example, see, class square is defined and area is defined as self and side. Okay, one parameter is there with the function area. Then area of a square will be printed as side into side square units. If it is triangle, we'll have two parameters. But see, the uh, the function name is same here. This is also area. This is also area. The parameter number is one here. The parameter number is two. Two parameters are accepted here only one parameter is accepted self is not a parameter that is we write by default if two parameters are there with the same name that at that time area of triangle should be calculated and that will be printed half base into height okay so if we uh, create two objects s1 and uh, t1 as square and triangle at that time if we call s1 dot area 5 will be printed if we call t1 dot area uh, 6 and 8 will be print uh, 6 and 8 will be passed so that its area will be printed okay so in this example area is the same method but it is uh, getting called differently based on the different parameters okay another op uh, thing is the operator overloading operator overloading means same operator will perform uh, differently in different uh, situations 
For example, see if first name is John and last name is Doe. If we do first name plus last name, it will become John Doe. Okay. Now, if the uh, I had a number insta instead of that one and two, and if I did one plus two, in that case, it would have become uh, three. Right. If it is in a string, okay, if one was in a string and two was also in a string, in, then if I did one plus two, it will become 12. That will be a string value concatenation. Right. So based on the parameter which is getting passed here, that the uh, output is getting changed even for the same operator. Plus is same in both of the cases for concatenation also plus only and for uh, addition also it is plus only. But what is getting changed? The result is getting changed based on the uh, inputs. That is called as operator overloading. For example, uh, that same can be the same thing can be said for multiplication operator also. If you multiply a string, the string will be written two times. Okay, Python and another time it will be written Python. Right. If we do the same thing with a uh, number like three into two, in that case, three, three, three will not be written. If it is a number, okay, if it is a number, it will not be written three, 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 it will be written six. That is the difference. You got the point. So, okay. So, this is the thing. The same operator can be used for two different purposes. Two different outputs also we will get. Okay. That is operator overloading. That is also an example for polymorphism. Okay, that's all for the module 5 and uh, don't miss any of these questions or uh, these are the super important ones and please do like and subscribe it helps me make more videos like this and thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one